explanation above, there are three main parts of the language the center, like Rokas area, Wernikas area, and the angular terms. And, and this part is very important to produce a language. If there is a malfunction of one of these systems, a human can produce a language well. Well, the next part is Wernikas area. Like you will see in this picture, green color is Wernikas area. Garnet's area is located near the back action auditory area, like this one. And the section of the brain is involved in the comprehension of words and selection of words when producing sentences. Garnet's area is one of two parts of the cerebral cortex linked to speech since the late 19th century. It is involved in the understanding of written and spoken language, it is traditionally considered to consist of the posterior section of the superior temporal gyrus, namely STG in the dominant hemisphere, in the dominant cerebral hemisphere, which is left, which is left hemisphere in about 95% of right-handed individuals and 60 left-handed individuals. That's all. I'm Nelia Bani Amin. Thank you. Okay, in this part, I will explain about the angular gyrus. Do you know what is the angular gyrus? Angular gyrus is a region of the brain in the frontal lobe that lies near the superior edge in the temporal lobe. Angular gyrus is indicated or involved in the number of processing related with language and also number processing and spatial cognition, memorial retrieval, and also attention, and the last is theory of mind. Maybe that's all. An area located between vertices area and the visual, visual cortex. For first visual stimuli, is two auditory stimuli and twice per song, allowing too much to the spoken from a word with the object. It describes as well as written form of the word. This ability is crucial human capacity to read and write. Hello viewers, come back to our channel again and we would like to our content today is about language center. So what is language center? Language center is uh, like it's, uh, the most important part in brain that process the language. So the are three parts of the language center. So what is that? What are they? The first is Lucas area and the second is Lucas area and the third is so the first thing we would like to uh, explain more deeply about the broadcast area. So what exactly mean or definition and function about broadcast area? Broadcast area here, can look at here. In this area, um, based on the motor cortex, the language center appears to be responsible for organizing and articulating patterns of language and directing the motor cortex when we want to do so. And in this uh, broadcast area, the amount of cortex. So, uh, more for cortex, it's directing and giving information and giving process to stimulator to process in the brain. So if you want to talk, it process in the broadcast area. If you want to have a trouble with our broadcast area, it will be difficult to us to make a language like a word and sentences, phrase and a clause. So uh, if you have a healthy broadcast area so we can enjoy and make another any or any okay that's all for me. Hello viewers, I think that's all our discussion today about the language center. I hope you enjoyed the video, this video and forget to thank our presenters today that have just explained about this material and the contents about our lesson. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for being our followers and don't forget to subscribe, like and comment.